All right, so I had a lot of questions come in. How do I clean taxidermy? You may recall a couple weeks ago, I traded for some, for some taxidermied uh, pheasants. I sold one, I got one left, and I have some other taxidermy. I buy a lot of taxidermy because it's easy to flip. I sell a lot of man cave items. I go to popular culture shows, man kind of tiki shows, and they sell. So I'm gonna show you real quick the easy, easy, easy method to clean your taxidermy. Check this out. All right, so we have a North American eight point buck here, pretty standard mounted on wood. This is pretty common. What you would see is like a cabin or, or you know, a lodge mount above a fireplace. Pretty common mount. Um, it, we're gonna use a couple of tools. These are what I find works the best and quite frankly, the easiest way to do this. You're gonna want a vacuum. I use this little vacuum. Um, it's a little blower vac. I'm sorry, it's a little, it's a suck vac, but it also has, I don't know if you can tell, this blow feature. We're gonna use cold water, a clean new sponge, Q-tips, and if it's really dirty and dusty, a little bit of uh, ammonia. So, first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna blow this, any dust that's on here. So, we're just gonna put our blower feature down. And we'll see how it will blow any dust away. Just like that. After a while, you want to take this very gently, especially if you're dealing with feathers, you might not want to do this, but just very gently run this barely above it. You don't really want to touch, you just kind of want to have it above the fur. Now just a few inches above it, so it's just collecting dust. I really don't want to mess with any of the matting or the fur here. And we really don't need to use that vacuum because I've already vacuumed this. This is sitting over the winter. Um, but we are going to use a little basic cleaning agent here. Now, like I said, this is clean, cold, or just cool water out of your sink. Um, some people say they prefer to use distilled. You don't have to, but hey, that's just me. And we're just going to mix in ammonia. Just like that. Not a whole lot. We're gonna damp this sponge, don't use the coarse end. Now we just want this barely damp. Barely damp. And I'm not really pushing, I'm just kind of dragging it slowly over this mount. And when it comes to the wood, you can use a wood cleaner. Don't get the wood cleaner on your fur, on your mount. and always go with the fur. Do not go against the fur. You're gonna mess up uh, all that work. Like I said, use a, a new sponge or at the very least a clean sponge. And we don't wanna get really all into this delicate fur. We just wanna barely, if there's something in there, we can take our Q-tip. Now it comes to the antler, same way. And if you got some real grime on it, you can very gently, very gently run this over with it. But we don't wanna pull any of the veneer or lacquer out of it. So use this very carefully, okay? Now when it comes to stuff like the eyes and the nose, we'll just dip a Q-tip. Not a whole lot of water. And the ammonia will actually help clean the glass eyes and make them shine a little bit better. Also, it'll help with the antlers. It'll make it shine if it has any kind of uh, veneer on it. So you just want to get down in there. And if there's any kind of grime, see, there we go pulling that stuff out, but we just want to go slow. 
Go slow with this. And believe me, if you have a clean mount, it is going to sell a whole lot better. You know, it'll take you 20, 30 minutes to clean this mount. Um, and if you have feathers, be extra gentle, be extra careful. Uh, if you have some big damages, my advice to you, if you don't know what you're doing, don't try to fix it. There are professional taxidermists out there that know how to fix that stuff, and they're more likely to buy a very used mount and restore it than one that you have um, really poorly restored. So big mounts, small mounts, clean mounts, old mounts, destroyed mounts, even destroyed mounts sell. So this is just really a quick tip for you. Um, I will get oh, about 125, maybe 150 at a show for this. Um, I think I paid like $15 for it. Not a bad, not a bad buck. So this buck's going to make me a buck. And when you're all done, if you got any extra water or extra moisture, just use a towel. Pat it dry. Simple as pie. So that's just a quick little tip for you. Um, I'm going to be doing another video later in this week um, about the basic tools to clean and prep items. And, uh, you know, when you get them home, um, I got a kit. I call it my kit of kits. And believe me, if you get one of these kit kits, it'll save you a lot of time when it comes to listing. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later.